this is Eric Smith. Uh, this is Father's Day, June 16th, and my wife and my kids just took me out uh, to get something for lunch slash dinner to treat me to Father's Day. It was really great. Uh, this is also the 20, 20th anniversary of the day that I was saved. Uh, it was June 16th, 1999 at 8.02 p.m., where I trusted the Lord, where the gospel was given to me, and I trusted the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, uh, my son and I are going to take a really quick look video at a very familiar verse, um, but I'm not just going to read the verse. I'm going to read uh, the verse before it. It's Philippians 4, um, 11, and uh, I'm sorry, um, Philippians 4, 12 through 13. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm a little dizzy after all that food I just ate. Um, let me just read the word of God to you. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Verse 13 is a verse we quote a lot, that we can do all things in Christ who gives us strength. And many times, unfortunately, we misrepresent that verse. We quote it to say that we can do anything. You know, I can get a touchdown in a football game. I can hit the winning point in a basketball game. Um, you know, people will use it to say that they can do all things. And many times those all things means things that they want to accomplish or dreams or desires that they want to do, that Christ can give them the strength to do it. Now, Christ can certainly give you the strength to live a holy, righteous life and to do all things. So no one is doubting that. But we don't want to make this verse a verse to be like, well, there's particular things that I desire to do. These are my dreams and desires outside of Christ, and Christ is going to give me strength to do it. The verse before actually gives the context. It says, I know, I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. This is the Apostle Paul speaking when he was in prison. And he's basically saying, I know how to handle all things through the good times and the bad times. He says, I am instructed instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. So whether the Apostle Paul was taking everything in life that was good or everything in life that was bad, it was the Lord that was giving him strength. He gave him strength to, to endure all things. And in verse 13, when he says, I can do all things through Christ, what he's saying is, I can endure all things through Christ. Whether things are going very well Christ gives me the strength to endure it. If things are not going well and he's being persecuted or he's suffering as he was in prison, Christ gives him strength. It is Christ that gives us strength through the good times and the bad times. So when we read this verse, I can do all things, it doesn't mean that you can do all things pertaining to what you think you can do. If we interpreted it that way, we would say, basically, I can jump off a building and fly because I can do all things through Christ. That's silly, and we know the verse doesn't mean that. But what the verse does mean is that you can endure all things. Christ gives you the strength to get through this life, through the ups and the downs, because he strengthens you. If Christ saves you, he will sanctify you, he will glorify you, so he will certainly give you strength to get through things. I hope you appreciate this quick look to these two verses. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then please hit the button. If you want to leave comments, we would love to hear comments. Uh, just don't be profane. Don't be snarky. Um, we want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do. And until we do another quick look, I'm going to uh, just rest for the rest of the day. I have to preach a message later at um, a mission, and I'm still preparing that. So I just want to be rested and prayed up for that. But until um, we do another quick look and... Um, we get into more of the word of God to edify you. Thank you for listening and God bless.